grading of mitral regurgitation. What is grade A? Grade A is nothing but risk of mitral regurgitation. Here there is going to be slight mitral valve prolapse but the co-optation of both the leaflets will be normal. They will be maybe mild valve thickening and the leaflet motion may be restricted. This is grade A but your valve hemodynamics is there is no MR jet or a small jet which occupies less than 20% of left atrium small vena contractor which is less than 0.3 centimeter and there is no hemodynamic consequences and no symptom in at risk of MR. Coming to grade B here it is called the progressive mitral regurgitation here there is severe prolapse with normal co-optation or a rheumatic changes with leaflet restriction and loss of central co-optation or prior infective endocarditis will be there. Here the valve hemodynamics there is a central jet MR between 20 to 40 percent of LA or a late systolic eccentric jet MR. The vena contracta is less than 0.7 centimeter. The regurgitation volume is less than 60 ml. The fraction is less than 50 percent and the effective regurgitation orifice area is less than 0.04 centimeter square and the angiographic grade is hardly 1 to 2 plus. Coming to hemodynamic consequences, they may be a slight LA enlargement but the LV size will be normal and the PA pressure is also normal. Here again the patient is totally asymptomatic. Coming to grade C, here it is asymptomatic but severe MR. Again, you will have severe mitral valve prolapse, loss of co-optation and flail leaflet. The leaflet might be really flail and rheumatic there might be leaflet restriction and loss of central co-optation, prior infective endocarditis or thickening of leaflet with radiation heart disease. Coming to valve hemodynamics in severe MR, here jet of MR, central jet can be more than 40 percent of LA or wholly systolic eccentric jet MR. The vena contracta is greater than 0.7 centimeter. The volume, regurgitation volume is greater than 60 ml. The fraction is greater than 50 percent and the orifice is greater than 0.4 centimeter square and the angiographic grade is 3 to 4 plus. Here there is LA enlargement and LV enlargement pulmonary hypertension usually will be present with severe exertion and in C1 the grade C can be C1 or C2. In C1 the ejection fraction is greater than 60 and the systolic diameter is less than 40 millimeter. But in C2 the ejection fraction is less than 60 and the systolic diameter is greater than or equal to 40 millimeter that is LV is hugely dilated. But patient will be asymptomatic because there is enough compensation in the left ventricle. What is grade D? Grade D is all the findings similar to grade C. 